Penn State Baseball, the process. 2014 has been a year of many things. Transition, bonding, hard work, broken records, and most importantly, teamwork. The team's final record of 18 and 32 doesn't do justice to the changes that have been made both on and off the field. On the field, it was clear that the guys had become one as a unit. The home winning streak during the middle of the season was a clear sign of that, making it one of the best starts to the season in recent years. That first game we, we won and we carry it over into the next day. Like Coach Cooper called, talks about uh, day by day and we, that's what we did. We took it day by day with each win and we were just so excited. It was special. It was a lot of fun. I mean, we didn't seem like we were trying to win. I mean, it just kind of happened. We did all the right things to win for that. On May 16th, the boys set records with not one but two triple plays something that has only been accomplished once before in NCAA Division I history, and that was featured on ESPN's Top Players. Haley's got it. He'll step on the back, throws the first. It's a triple play! I knew I wasn't playing when the triple plays happened, but we went nuts in the dugout, man. I mean, triple play, I don't think I've ever been a part of one in my whole life, and two in one game was nuts, but... Yeah, it's just something cool to always remember. Cooperstown became a rallying point for the team, with more and more students beginning to turn out for games, along with larger fan turnouts in general. Aside from the records and new additions, this year marks a turning point for Penn State baseball. The drive and the hunger for winning is back and can be felt throughout all of the stadium. This year is just, I mean, pretty much unbelievable. I mean, just having Cooper come in, he just really told us the exact strategy that he wanted us to be playing out. and. Um, we all pretty much bought into that in the fall with our, with our weight training and our running every day. And it was just a lot to handle, but once we came into the season, Coach Cooper had us ready to go. And Coming here and do what they did, kind of change the culture up, was, I mean, it's really impressive, but I mean, it's a testament to their own abilities as coaches, too. Um, love playing for Coach Coop. BA is hard on you, but man, he, he's a good dude. He knows what he's doing. And Ross is a cool guy, same with Beam. I mean, I, I like playing for those guys a lot. No. These coaches really put a priority on energy coming ready to play every day. Whereas last year we kind of walked through the motions when things got bad. This coaching staff really refused to let us feel sorry for ourselves. Like, you know, they really kind of rallied around us and really tried to make us better. You know, how to overcome adversity. And when adversity is going to happen, it's just how you react to it is what makes you better. He got us really excited and we really bought into his program. And so I think that carried over into the season. The players gave all they had, both for the team and for the community. And for that, we thank and congratulate them. The senior class had its special day on May 17th, as they were honored on the field after the game. It marked a special moment for these players, as they saw the beginning of the Cooper era at Penn State, and will hopefully continue their success in future pursuits. But their hearts will always remain at Medlar and Penn State's. There were ups and downs this season, but the boys held fast, knowing that growing and improving as a team was, in fact, a process. One that will continue on next year as the team develops and improves. That is actually a very good word to describe the year, a process. Um, but no, um, I think the guys next year and the year after that are going to build off what we did this year and hopefully bring a Big Ten championship to the stadium. Started off a little slow, not as well as we wanted to, and we kept fighting back. We had a really great stretch, and you know, didn't end it as well as we wanted to, but you know, we were still competitive, we were still fighting hard. We really grew as a team throughout the year. It was, it was really impressive to see how much better we got and how much we really could achieve. Uh, I mean, it started off really good. Actually, it didn't start off very good. The middle was really good, and not so much, but I mean, I had a great time, so I mean, it's something I'll definitely remember for the rest of my life. New recruits will come and new stars will shine as the future looks bright for Penn State baseball. Bonded together as a family and really bought into this process and I honestly think that next year we're going to do a lot better and if we just keep working hard and doing the right things, I think really good things can come. I'm real fired up to come back next year. Can't wait to see what everything has in store. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to be a good year. I'm, I'm excited. I yeah, just work hard this summer, just like the devil and will, and uh, come back together and uh, get back together with the family. Boys and uh, work hard. Have a great season.
With the conclusion of the 2014 season and the beginning of summer, all of us at The Process would like to give thanks to the fans, staff, and players who made this series possible. And we look forward to seeing everyone back out in 2015.